everyone. Eric Woodcock here, and I'm here with Matt Thorne today. And we're going to be talking about integrating McAfee EPO, which is uh, you know managed under AESS, and how it integrates with XOR. So today we have Matt. How you doing, Matt? Doing well, Eric. How you doing? Good, man. Um, tell me a little bit about your experience in the Army, and then tell me what you know about uh, AESS McAfee. Well, when I was in the Army, I did satellite communications, and that illustrated to me some of the necessities for high visibility and utilizing a secure environment because satellite communications requires that scenario quite extensively. And I was at E5 doing satellite communications, technician, uh, making sure the endpoints were able to communicate to each other from end to end. And so that was what I, I did in the Army. When I, what I learned there was, like I said, the visibility required. And what AESS is, is a managed capability for the Army that manages the endpoint security stack, at, hence the, the acronym. And what that means is a, a different group of tools that are deployed for the endpoint and the management of them is taken care of by a group that provides all the solution, all the different integrations, then policy enforcement and, de and deployment for 1.4 million Army endpoint devices. Take a look at our topology and the choreography of events that, uh, that we're going to enact. Uh, step one is that a victim server with McAfee uh, agent installed will go outbound to a bad threat URL. It's a test um, and the firewall will pick it up, send a syslog event down to Elastic. XOR is going to be polling, looking for type colon threat constantly. And as soon as it sees that, it will pull in the, lo the, the, key, the key value pairs that are in the, uh, the Elastic database, normalize it into JSON so that it can work with it, then subsequently go out to the McAfee EPO. And now that it has the source IP and the, the server name and so on, I can now go and update the dat file, wake the agent, uh, do a whole bunch of things and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, step one is to go to the bad URL. Step two is to look for these new syslog events. And here they are. Step three is to go to our uh, XOR right here and wait for the incident to come in. There it is. There's actually three incidents and I can explain why. It's because of the, H the way the browser behaves, it, it has three separate GET requests for that site, including the favicon is a separate GET request. I don't know why. But anyway, um, let's go take a look at what we've done now because remember, XOR has integrated with Elastic, so it pulled in these three um, documents, if you want to use an Elastic term, uh, that have uh, all the information that I need. Okay, so see how it's coming from Elastic, right? But I'm also integrated with uh, McAfee EPO. So let's go take a look at the playbook that ran. Okay, the first thing I did is I changed the name. Notice that it had that weird name and then it cleaned up. I assigned it to an analyst. I rasterized the website. I checked virus total for my test URL just to sort of just show you the different things that you can do. Uh, we have over 600 different integrations with third-party products, so um, you're only bound by your imagination. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go find the system in the system tree. Uh, I'm victim server, if you recall. These are the local accounts on the box. Fully qualified name, MAC address, OS type, and even there's even more. Another six rows, but I won't bore, I won't bore you with that. Update the repository. Get current dat, 10164. 
get latest dat, 10164. Update client dat, succeeded. Apply EPO tag. Let's take a look at what that is. I'm tagging it with infected with a capital I, okay? And then I wake up the agent. And then I wait for further instructions from the SOC analyst. Now let's go take a look at our EPO. So if I go to my system tree and look, and if I look at tags, aha, infected. That means that it is now doing a full scan because I've already set this up to say, if it includes this tag of infected, then run an on-demand full scan. Now, mind you, I've already updated the DAT file, and now I'm doing a scan. Um, I'm, there's plenty of other McAfee things that I could do. This is just an example. There's plenty of other things. But, um, you know, here's a, here's a look. So this is your, you know, I can mark all this stuff as evidence, like, I don't know, go here. And as I'm working with the, the XOR system, I'm running around and I'm marking things as evidence, uh, system info. And this is all getting collected on this page here on the evidence board. All right. So I've collected quite a bit of data, but let's say that my um, playbook doesn't do everything I want. I still have the option to use this little console here. It, think of it as like a bash shell and I can do anything I want from from right from here, right? So let's say we're done and we're ready to clear that tag off of there. All I have to do is in the command line here, uh, victim server, and then the tag name is infected, we said, right? Okay, I successfully cleared the tag. Let's go see if it's gone. And it's gone. So as you can see, I'm working with Elastic, I'm working with McAfee EPO, and XOR is the bridge between the two. And the amount of use cases and, and ideas that you can come up with are uh, limitless. Thank you.